Federal police have raided homes across two states, ramping up investigations into the Australian wives of Islamic State fighters. Nine's Melanie Slade is outside the AFP headquarters for us in Melbourne this morning. Mel, talk us through this. Yes, good morning. Well, police are concerned about the connection that some of these refugees in Syria have to Islamic State fighters. Of course, the AFP here, number one priority is to look after the safety of those here in Australia, but they also try desperately to try and minimise any potential terror risks. But then, on the other hand, there are significant concerns for the state of the a refugee camp in northern Syria. Among those stuck at that refugee camp are 20 women and 47 children all with Australian citizenship. It's cold, it's wet, it's snowing, it gets to minus eight overnight. There's a shortage of food, a lack of heating. And due to those dire conditions, police here are concerned that some of those women and children will do all they can to try and flee that camp and get back here to Australia. But it is a very complex situation and authorities here in Australia say it is too dangerous to go into that refugee camp. And so they are keeping a close eye on the situation, looking into those connections that those women and children have with Islamic State fighters. In relation to these latest raids, no arrests have been made. The AFP say the investigation is ongoing. All right, Mel, thank you.